Today we're using Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy to seal this boat countertop and seal in this chart of Chesapeake Bay. What we did was we used duct tape to seal the edges and give it a dam. And we did one layer of the tabletop already and we sanded it with 220 grit. The first step is to make sure that the surface is completely level. And so we've got a level here and we shimmed the corners of the table so that we got it and made sure it was level on both directions. The next step is to mix the tabletop epoxy one part resin to one part hardener. Working temperature should be between 60 and 80 degrees. And at 70 degrees, working time will be about 20 minutes with a cure time of 16 to 20 hours. One mixed gallon of total boat epoxy covers about 10 square feet of surface at 1 8 of an inch. So as you mix the part A and the part B together, take your time, mix it nice and slowly. You don't want bubbles in it. And what we did was we poured from one cup, stirred it really hard in one cup, and we poured all the contents back into the first cup and stirred it again. It took our time so we didn't get a lot of bubbles. And once we were done and it was thoroughly mixed, we let it sit for a few minutes. And again, we let some of the bubbles and some of the air that got mixed in to pop out the top. So the fewer bubbles, the better as we pour it in. Now we're going to pour the resin onto the tabletop. We want to put more in the open areas and less in the tighter areas. It is self-leveling, but the more we can help it putting the right amounts in the different corners. And now Steve and I are going to use spreaders to even out the epoxy and get it into all of the crevices and the dry spots and wet out all the areas. It's really important to use the light and the reflection to find any spots that are not wet or uneven, any spots where there are bubbles. The last step is to use a torch if there are bubbles in the tabletop. And sometimes there are as a result of mixing, you get some air in the resin. And the solution for this is to take a torch and run it about two to three inches above the tabletop. And it will heat up the surface and it will pop the bubbles and it will even out the gloss. And what will happen is we'll let this cure overnight and then we'll take the rim off, the tape off and sand the edges. We use some soap and water to clean any amine blush that's on the surface. And here we have our finished galley countertop. Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy is available in two quart and two gallon kits. Here we've used almost a full gallon of mixed epoxy, resulting in one eighth of an inch of coverage. But you can use tabletop epoxy to build a glossy, durable level surface of any thickness on a part as small as a coaster or as large as a bar counter.